Next up on my Steam library, I'm playing Opus The Day We Found Earth. Opus The Day We Found Earth is a little indie sci-fi adventure game. It's, it's more of like an interactive story than uh, than sort of any sort of other game style. If it was um, if there was any walking involved, they'd call it a walking simulator, a kind of game like Firewatch, where you basically you know you just play out a story uh, with some interactions, but you can't really go wrong. There's, there's there's nothing really you can do to change anything that happens. But uh, it's got a really nice story and a really nice uh, art style. But basically, you play a, a little robot called Emeth. Um, that's in a, in a mission with a couple of humans to find Earth. Uh, uh, humanity, as uh, the story says, the humanity's the gene pool has been corrupted by so much genetic engineering uh, that they need to go back to Earth to find like a pure sample of uh, human DNA to be able to start again. And they're, they're uh, spread so far away from Earth now they can't even remember where it is apparently. So you're searching for Earth and uh, you start off uh, just going for a little tutorial learning how to use this telescope in your ship and then uh, then something happens and you come back and, and you're all alone on the ship you're just this little robot now and you kind of uh, the story kind of tells you what happens while you're dis while you're still trying to find earth um, it's really nice it's, it's, a, it's only about two hours long just a little two hour story but it's, it's got a lot of charm and a lot of character and basically the gameplay is you using the telescope to locate uh, what you think might be earth-like or earth or the earth planets it gives you little hints on where to find them in like its location locator and there's uh, quite a bit of sky to search through and you, it's, the, it's a bit of a puzzle game when you're looking to find the actual planet that you've got to search. And uh, every time you find a new planet, you get a little bit more of the story, a little bit more dialogue. Um, it turns out that there's, you, you come, uh, like an AI hologram pops up pretty soon after. All the video I'm using is from the first sort of five minutes of the game, so there's no spoilers there. So yeah, you carry on searching. Every time you find a new planet, you get a new bit of dialogue. And there's also like curiosities to find as you explore the ship. The bits of the ship get unlocked as you progress as well. You can click on different areas in the ship and sort of things are revealed. And uh, these curiosities are a bit harder to find. You're given like just some cryptic little clue or maybe a little visual clue on where to find them and you have to point the telescope in the right direction and, and pinpoint the spot to find these little curiosities but but they're just extras the actual planet finding is uh, pretty is totally linear and uh, each time you find a new planet a bit more story reveals itself until the end so if you want to play just a nice little two hour sci-fi uh, adventure story with uh, yeah, a lot of charm, a lot of character, really good writing, yeah, quite nice, uh, satisfying, uh, emotional connection to the characters. Then yeah, this this is uh, this is it. Its asking price is five ninety nine, which I don't think is too much for like a story game like this. I say it's two hours long, but it's a nice little story to to, to play through, and you wouldn't get a, a cinema ticket for for like six quid these days for a two hour film so I don't think 5.99 is too bad value but when it shows up on sale even better so yeah for a nice little two hour sci-fi adventure story I recommend Opus The Day We Found Earth